Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Password Depot, the Secure Password Manager. In the first part of our tutorial, we will learn something about the main window of Password Depot. To get there, we will have to enter our master password and confirm this by clicking OK here. Now the main window is opened. As you can see, that we have three windows here, one being the groups window on the left, the passwords window in the middle, and the details section on the right. The groups window contains all the groups which you have entered. So you can use it to divide your passwords into groups and arrange them. To add a new group, simply right click the top folder and select new. Then we can enter a name for this group, for example, servers. If you select a group, you will see all the password it contains. So if you select a password here, you will see all its details on the right side. For example, the username, importance, and the date of the last modification. Above these windows you will see the search function in Password Depot. So you can enter a character here which will open all the passwords which contain this specific characters or you can enter some more and find the password which you're looking for and work with it like used to. Right to it, we have um, the extended search where you can enter some characters to look in specific fields of the passwords. You can also look for a specific importance or a category you, which you assign to a password and look for those passwords only which are part of that category. Another click will close the search function. Now we come to the toolbar. It contains all the functions you need for managing your passwords and your password file. We have two tabs here, one being the Home tab with the basic functionalities which Password Depot offers and the Tools tab with some additional functions, like for example the Synchronize function or the possibility to install Password Depot on a USB device. On the top left we have the main menu of Password Depot where you can for example create a new password file or save your file and you can also use the update manager to get your program up to date. One last thing is this little bar here where you have the options. You can use them to customize your program so that you can set everything just as you need it. So much for the main.